More people need to know about these four hacks to add timers to Final Cut Pro, including you. These animated timers will make your cooking, fitness, or sales videos look pro with time to spare. In this video, I'll show you how to make a timer count up or down with these two often overlooked effects and how to build a custom timer without extra plugins. Stick around till the end, you'll get a sweet timer without the work for free. Let's do this. In Final Cut Pro, go to the Generators section, go to Elements, and drag and drop this counting generator to your timeline. What this generator does is it counts from one number to another in the duration of that clip. I got this guy jump roping, but he doesn't want to jump rope all day. He just needs to jump rope for 10 seconds. So we need to change the duration of this generator. Select it, press Control D, but we need to set it to be plus one second of whatever the timer is. So if we want a 10 second timer, we need to make this generator 11 seconds. So I'll press 1100 and enter, and then I will rearrange it onto my timeline. Okay, that looks good. Now let's go to the inspector and we'll set our start time at zero and our end time at 10. Let's change the font as well. Under format, we can change to spell out, which is kind of cool. And then we can have a timer with words, which is pretty cool. But for this one, I just want my numbers. Let's change the color of the text as well. And let's change minimum digits to two since I'm not going above 99. To make it bigger, right click, select transform, and click and drag one of these corner handles. And then let's move it also over here to the shade. Then press done. Let's check it out. Starts at zero and then counts up to 10. And we're right on the money with the numbers too. Very cool. Well, what if we want to count down? That's easy, we just swap these numbers. For start, we put 10 and for end, we put zero. Now we have a countdown from 10 to zero. Don't stop jumping until the timer's done. Let's make a long timer, like a three minute timer. Here's a picture of me being afraid of a cute little tarantula. And let's time how long I'm freaking out about it. Go to generators and add time code to our project. Select it and press control D to change the duration and enter 30001. That gives us three minutes, zero seconds, and one frame. We need that one frame for the animation to complete then press enter. Check this out. If we move the timer, then it inherits wherever we're at in the project. And so it starts at 5620, but we want it to always start at three minutes or at zero and then count down or up. So select it, go to the publish parameters under the generator inspector, and let's change time code from project to source. Now we're at zero, zero, zero. Okay, let's delete this source label and let's turn off the background color by setting the opacity to zero. We can change our font color as well. How about that? That looks good. And we can change our font as well. And we can change the font size here also. All right, that looks pretty good. But we have all this extra stuff. We've got the hours at the beginning and then the frames at the end. Let's trim that off. So first let's show horizon. Click on view and select show horizon. This gives us the middle. Then use this on-screen control to move our timer minutes on the left and seconds on the right. There we go. Now let's turn it into a compound clip. Press Alt G, name it, press enter. And then let's trim these sides off. Let's turn off horizon and we'll use our left and right crop to trim those off. If we push this button here, we can see the on-screen controls and this becomes pretty easy to change. There we go. Now we can select done and it counts up from zero to three minutes, no matter where we have it in our project. If we want to move it, we can right click and select transform and move it around. We can also change the size of it as well and then press done. If we want it to count down, simply select it, go to the retime buttons here and reverse clip. Now it counts down from three all the way to zero. But what if we want it to show three for a little bit before it starts counting? That's easy. Go to the beginning of the clip and add a freeze frame with shift H. Now when you play it, three minutes is on there for a little bit and then it starts to count down. You can do the same thing at the end if you want. Okay, it's about time we talk about thumbs up. If this video has been helpful, will you please give it a like so other people will see this video and learn how to add timers to Final Cut Pro? Thanks, appreciate it.
Let's make a cool custom circle timer. I've got this guy and he is blending up some food. He starts to blend here, so I'm gonna put a mark by pressing M, and then he ends right about there. Press M. So we need a timer to come up that shows this is how long you need to blend it between those markers. Let's go to the Generator tab, go to Elements, and add Shapes. Trim it to be between these two markers. Go to the Inspector and turn off Fill, and let's change the color to this light purple, and let's turn off our drop shadow. Now let's duplicate it by holding down option and click drag above it and it'll create another copy of it select it go to the inspector and let's change the outline color and let's make it thicker that looks pretty good about 44 now we need to animate that go to transitions go all the way to bottom to wipes and look for clock drag and drop that onto your top generator let's delete the second transition and change the duration of the first transition to cover the entire clip select the transition go to the inspector and change the angle to 90 and change edge treatment to zero. Now this ring animates on the entire length of our timer. That looks pretty good, but now we need some numbers in it. Drag and drop time code to your timer area and trim it to fit in between those markers. I'll do option right bracket. Select the generator, go to the inspector, and let's change it from project to source. Let's delete the source label. Let's turn off the background color with the opacity and let's change our color. Let's match it with the dark purple. And let's change the font and make it a little bit bigger. And let's move it to see how it looks in the middle. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's turn on horizon and put it right in the middle. Turn off horizon and let's turn this into a compound clip and let's trim off those edges. Under crop, move left and right. Turn on the on-screen controls and it'll be easier. There we go. Now let's select our three layers and make a compound clip and right click on and select transform and let's Let's make it smaller and move it up to this area here and then press done. Select our timer, go to the beginning and let's add a freeze frame and let's do the same at the end. Go to the last frame and add a freeze frame. Now shift this so that our timer starts at the same marker and ends. Okay, there we go. So now we have this freeze frame on the beginning and the end. And what I want to do is add some animation to it, but I don't need this much. Let's trim it about in half and then go to transition and go to movement, scroll down to one of my favorite ones called spin, drag and drop it to your clip and change the duration and let's see it animate in. Well, that looks pretty cool. If we select it, we can change with this on-screen controls where it animates from. I want it to animate from there and I want it to spin a little bit more. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, it flips out. I love it. Delete the second transition and option click and drag the first one to the end. It looks a little weird. It's animating the video on. So select it, go to the inspector and select out. Let's move this location and the rotation a little bit and let's play that back. Sweet, so it animates on, it does its countdown, blend it up, yummy, yummy food, and then at the end, it animates off. Oh, that looks good, perfect. All right, so let's say you don't wanna do all that work. I totally get it. Here's what we'll do. Go to pexels.com. This is a website with free, royalty-free images and videos. It's awesome. Search for timer, go to videos, and download this first one here, this 10-minute timer, and then add it to your library or your event. I've already got it in my library. I can add it to my project, and so we have this 10-minute countdown. It's got these cool animations. It looks good, but I can't see anything underneath it. So select it, go to the video, Video inspector and change blend mode to screen. Right click on it, select transform, and then adjust the size. Let's move it over here to this corner and select done. Now I've got this timer, it's counting down, it looks awesome. I can select it and if I want it to count up, I can reverse it. So now it counts up. That looks cool and all, but what if I want to change the color? What if I don't want it to just be white? Well, I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. Let's reset our transform controls. Go to inspector and click here at transform and reset parameter. Now go to the titles and generators and go down to solids and add a solid color to your timeline and make it the same length as your timer. There we go. Go to effects, go to masks and add image mask to the color solid. And let's change our color. Let's go to this light purple, we'll say. And then go to the 
a video inspector and for the mask source, go to the very beginning of your clip and click it and then press apply clip. Ah, oh, nothing happens. That's because we need to change the source channel from alpha to luminance. And boom, we've got a colored counter. Looks pretty good, right? Select your custom solid color generator, right click on it, select transform and change the size and move it wherever you want and press done. Take your timer clip and let's put it below the picture of me. Ooh, I love it, it looks good. All right, now you know how to add a timer to Final Cut Pro, you know how to animate it, you know how to do a countdown and count up timer. You're gonna rock, you got this. Now I made another video I think you're gonna love. It's called how to split screens in Final Cut Pro and you can check it out here. Go on, click it. I promise it's worth it. You'll be able to split screen afterwards. You'll be able to make really cool split screen effects.